you all might have heard these days a lot about uh, CRISPR for infectious disease diagnosis. So let's see how it works. CRISPR is a gene editing tool and this is found useful application in uh, disease diagnosis. The main components of the system includes a Cas protein and a guide RNA. Cas protein along with the guide RNA search for match in the sample of interest. And once the sequence match is found, the Cas protein gets activated and cleaves the DNA or RNA. The selection of DNA or RNA is depend on the Cas protein used. So there are uh, different uh, Cas proteins available now. Uh, Cas9 is there, Cas12a and Cas13. So Cas13 is for uh, cleaving or matching the RNA sequence. The uh, Cas once gets activated, it starts to cleave the match sequence. And not only the, it cleaves the match sequence, but also it cleaves the neighboring sequences non-specifically. And uh, this property of Cas is called as the collateral cleavage or trans cleavage. Scientists uh, utilized this Cas protein's collateral cleavage function as a tool for diagnosing infectious diseases. For this, a fluorescently labeled probe molecule called the reporter probe is used in the reaction. The Cas will get activated only when there is a match with the guide RNA. So the guide RNA is uh, the sequence which the scientists provide which has a matching sequence to the, the pathogen of interest. Once a perfect match is found, the Cas gets activated and cleaves the neighboring sequence including the reporter probe. And that will result in the release of fluorescence and the presence of uh, target pathogen can be identified. Hope you are clear with the short knot on CRISPR-Cas system for infectious diagnosis. Thank you.